What's up, guys? Welcome back to news dump. Yeah, it's not. Oh a happy, yeah, not a happy dump. Whew. It's a real painful dump. Yeah, because as much as we love it when internet famous people from YouTube, Vine, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, yada yada yada, do or say something without any self awareness, because they live in a fucking bubble where nobody holds them accountable for anything. This Nicole Arbor lady is next level. She sure is, Elliot. And now we admittedly had no idea who Nicole Arbor was until about a week ago because we're not 10 year old girls. But now it's our job to know about her because thanks to a video she made called Dear Fat People, she's all over our news feeds and everyone keeps asking us to cover the story. <sighs> So after doing some cursory research, which was painful, we found that Nicole Arbor is a YouTube vlogger and self-described comedian who is quite possibly the most vapid, annoying, and stupid person on YouTube. Agreed. Like, I'm not exaggerating. No, it was painful watching these videos. Yeah, pretty much every video of hers features her talking directly into the camera in a voice and cadence similar to nails on a chalkboard. Mm -hmm. But nails on a chalkboard, they're like trying really hard to be cool. Yeah. And uh, for some reason, hundreds of thousands of people tune in to watch her just yeah, they tune stuff. in to be offended. Well, now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna assume her audience is full of idiots, and that's how she managed to make this into a career. But apparently, even idiots have a breaking point, and Nicole Arbor's fan's breaking point was her six minute Dear Fat People rant, which she should have just titled, Fuck You, Fat People. So that video understandably alienated the portion of her audience that isn't hateful assholes. A pretty sizable portion, it seems. Mm -hmm. From there, the shit snowballed downhill with other YouTubers calling her out and making response videos, and then various mainstream media outlets picking up the story and writing think pieces on the whole thing, all within a very short amount of time. The yeah. news cycle's quick. Yeah, uh, the backlash got so bad that Nicole Arbor's YouTube channel got shut down. Or did it? See, usually when a channel gets shut down, trying to go to that channel's URL leads to a message saying it was banned. Not really the case here. Uh, looks like someone was doing damage control and trying to play the martyr. Yeah, playing both sides. Turn of off it. YouTube channel. Oh my god, oh, what happened? Hashtag uh, censorship. Jeez. Anyway, her channel came back soon after. Oh, surprise. Because yeah. it was never actually banned. And Nicole Arbor doubled down on the stupidity by posting most offensive video ever, which was her attempt to present herself as some sort of equal opportunity offender and not just an asshole, but it really just made her look like even more of an asshole. Look, I hate everything, yeah. but I'm not doing it in a comedic way. Yeah. I'm just saying age old stereotypes, repeating them, making them worse, making new ones that aren't funny, yeah. and I'm saying it's satire, which makes no sense. So the terrible irony of all this controversy is that Nicole Arbor's YouTube videos only ever really got around 20,000 views apiece, uh, unless she's using the age old girl on YouTube tactic of using thumbnails to trick people into thinking they'll see her naked if they watch the video. I think we've done a couple titty videos before. Yeah. But it, you know, it works. Uh, now thanks to all this hoopla, she's got millions and millions of views on her most recent videos and probably a little bit of that cheddar as well. Yeah. I don't want to do the math. Anyway, fortunately though, there is some justice in the world. Nicole Arbor was all set to choreograph the dancing for a movie about an overweight teenager trying to become a cheerleader, but that film's director decided maybe Nicole Arbor isn't the right person to choreograph a movie that's supposed to be about body positivity. Sure. And it's also probably safe to assume that this whole fat shaming thing is burning a lot more bridges in her professional life. To her, they're just reinforcing the bridges, though. Social media maven. Yeah. Anyways, in conclusion, uh, there's a lot to say on this topic, but we can't fit it all into one video. Yeah. America does have an obesity problem. And yeah. yes, obesity leads to health complications that you don't want. People need to be better educated about health and nutrition, yada, yada, yada. Going on a ridiculous, hateful YouTube rant about that isn't the answer. No. And a lot of people have problems that they, of no fault of their own, are dealt with. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to watch some great coverage of this, Keemstar had a great week. Uh, he got uh, her ex-boyfriend, Matthew Santoro's best friend on the line. And yeah. apparently, in, in addition to being uh, a bigot, she yeah. also <laughs> is an abusive girlfriend who like beats up men and then tries to- Now this to, is all allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, but the Keemstar did do some great coverage on this, so go check it out on his channel. He got the popcorn. Yeah, he got the popcorn out. He got a cheeseburger. There you go. Yeah. But moving on to lady sports ball news, is Drake the real reason that Serena Williams lost the US Open? Okay, all signs point to yes. Yeah. Now, now, first of all, I love Drake, so continue on. Yeah, Elliot. if his continuous existence means that athletes and sports stars have to lose some of the most important matches of their lives, so be it. But the Drake curse kept on trucking along. Yesterday afternoon, when his girlfriend, Serena Williams, not only lost the US Open, she lost her attempt at a tennis Grand Slam. Uh, Grand Slam in tennis means winning the four biggest tournaments. The Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and you guessed it, the US Open. America. Mm -hmm. Apparently the Drake curse is real. 
as told by this stinging set of photos from Twitter user Drew Franklin showing Drake supporting the Kentucky Wildcats, who ended up losing in the Final Four. Shaking hands with Seattle Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll. The Seahawks obviously ended up losing the Super Bowl to the New England Patriots. Partying with LeBron James, whose Cleveland Cavaliers fell to the Golden State Warriors in this year's NBA Finals. And of course, the final photo in this series, him supporting his now girlfriend Serena Williams. I mean, can you connect the dots here, people? This is some serious sports Illuminati shit going it's on. It's real. Yeah. Reptilians. Yeah. So is Drake entirely responsible for the downfall of one of the greatest female athletes the world has ever seen? Yes. Apparently yes. <laughs> And we don't know enough about sorcery or curses to dispute this fact, so... <laughs> I guess it stands. You decide. Yeah, you guys have to let us know. Is this Illuminati bullshit or not? <laughs> it's gotta be true! He's got... This is, this is evidence? Yeah. On top of evidence? On top of evidence. He's Tori, what do you think? I agree. See? Drake curse real. Anyway, <laughs> this next story is for 90s kids only. I guess everyone I gotta else, leave. Everyone else get the fuck out, because this story is not for you. We'll wait. Yeah. All right, now that only 90s kids are watching, it's time to tell you about the totally radical Nicktoons movie that Nickelodeon is apparently developing with Paramount. And that would bring back all of your favorite 1990s Nicktoons onto the same screen together. What? Oh! According to trackingboard.com, it'll be an animated live action crossover that gets it right, Ooh. featuring Rugrats, Angry Beavers, Hey Arnold, Rocko's Modern Life, Ren and Stimpy, and more. Hopefully some all real monsters. Yeah. And it's being compared to movies like the Lego movie, Space Jam, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and Wreck It Ralph. Oh god, I can't wait to see the Rugrats be like completely disturbed by Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> yeah. Even Rocco's Modern Life was had a lot of adult themes. It was a sex phone operator. Oh yeah. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Anyways, this is all in the super early stages and isn't even officially confirmed, but if this is done right, it could be absolutely amazing. And it sounds like it's in the right hands with the same producers who worked on this year's SpongeBob Sponge Out of Water, uh, which starred friend of the show Tom Kenny. And I thought that was great. Yeah, yeah. maybe the little SpongeBob would, in this movie. I would be willing to go see this. Over yeah. something like a Goosebumps movie? Come on, I would take this. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. See, any, anything with Ren and Stimpy on it has to be good because it's, it's just such a disturbing show. And seeing them come back around and kind of yeah. make fun of that is, would be great. Nickelodeon's on a real 90s kid nostalgia binge yeah. right now because they're talking about bringing back, like, a bunch of shows as well. Yeah. They're like, well, Roundhouse. Everyone who watched it originally is like, has their kids of their own now, so that's yeah. how we'll get them to watch. Legends of the Hidden Jeez, Temple. They should really bring that yeah. back. Yeah. Although, with all these helicopter parents, they'd probably- Those, those temple guards! Give every kid a medal. <laughs> yes. yeah. Every kid gets a piece of that aggro crag. Can't have guts these days. No. Nope. Anyway, next story. New York Comic Con is just a month away and we still don't know if we're going or not. I don't know. Uh, we really want to because it's a fun con and we'd probably get to see a lot of you there, but now we really want to go because the X-Files panel is apparently going to be showing off the first episode of the new X-Files series a full three months ahead of its actual network debut. Yeah, that is treating fans right. So hopefully we can make it out there and catch the panel, but if not, it's already been like 13 years since the show originally went off the, the air, so three months, not that bad. Yeah, it's really And uh, every, you know, every kind of like article that I've read on it said that it's going to be fucking amazing, so... It's got great guests, it's got yeah. uh, Joel McHale, Kamel Nanjiani, yeah. uh, a bunch of other people. Yeah, Fantastic. so we're definitely, definitely looking forward to this, and uh, I know that you know because we talk about it on pretty much every news All though, the so time. there you go. But speaking of upcoming TV that we are stoked about, Move over, X-Files, because there's a talking dog sitcom on the way. <laughs> I know you wouldn't believe it if we told you that ABC was actually going to develop a half-hour sitcom based around a talking dog, but we're here to stress that, yes, this is real, it's happening, deal with it. Yeah, the show, which we can only assume will be immediately canceled due to piss-poor ratings, is going to be called Downward Dog. No. Because <laughs> The only demographic left watching, left watching primetime television live as it airs are middle-aged housewives, and you know the two things they love, yoga and shitty lap dogs. Right now, the immediate threat is very low. <laughs> yeah. Only a pilot has been ordered, but according to The Hollywood Reporter, the script has been drawing rave <laughs> reviews around town, and that it will be shot using the modern family-style confessional device where the dog can talk to the camera about what's happening. Oh, fucking Christ. My owner's crazy. Throw her a bone. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, they're going real rough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, here's a quote. Very rarely have I ever seen something so well conceived and then well executed, said delusional executive <laughs> producer Jimmy Miller, who's Listen to this, his past credits include some pretty incredible titles uh, like The Life and Times of Tim and Step Brothers. I love Life and Times of Tim. So, 
Wait a second. Yeah. Is this actually good? I don't think so. It's, I think it's him like doing the, the Disney ABC retirement plan. No. I made some good stuff. Now it's time to something, make something my kids can watch. Well, I, you get raking that money. I don't know what to think about this at all now. No. I mean, the only proper usage of animals that was ever good was yeah. the, the two dogs, sassy cat, all of that stuff from Homeward Bound. Yeah, but I was nine when that came out. Yeah. So maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Yeah. But Michael J. Fox is a dog. That was a real hit for me. Yeah. Yeah. So who knows? Uh, anyways, here's something way more interesting. It's an informational video about how old school gaming graphics work from a channel called The iBook Guy. And it's actually super informative and fun to watch. Yeah, so go watch that instead of trying to map out the paths that people at a massive television studio took to lead them to the idea that a show about a talking dog was a good idea. Yeah. Just don't let that rack your brain like it racked ours, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Actually, wait, wait, hold on. I take all that back. You know why? Because fucking Russell Madness, that killed it at the box office, right? No, it was direct to VOD. Oh, well, okay. It, it poked at the box office. Yeah. Flicked the box office. Yeah, scratched at the door. Oh. Scratching at the back door of the box office. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, our Abu Dhabi video is finally up. Check it out. It's yeah. We had a blast there. And if you don't watch that, we don't get to go do cool stuff like that. So fucking watch it, all right? Mm -hmm. Just put it on. Leave the room, mm -hmm. but don't do that because it's actually a good video. So a good you, you'll, you'll want to watch it. Also, we have a new Weekly Weird. And then uh, who did we interview last week? Last week was Lil Dicky. So watch that. Professional rapper. And this Sunday, Elijah Wood. Oh! He's finally here after a month of just tugging you guys by the dick. And everyone fucking tweeting us and telling us, oh, yeah. where's the Elijah Wood one? Yeah. It's here. Tomorrow. So right check here. Check it out. Bye. Bye.